Hi, I'm Dave, and this is Crit Thinking 418. So, just want to move out of the normal discussion about atheism and Christianity and move into something uh, social and really important. Um, so, what is it? So, there's a common phrase that goes around um, saying that youth are our future. Um, so, why would people say youth are our future? So some of the reasons that they might say that is that, you know, youth are in training. They're being trained to be ready for adulthood. Um, so, okay, that makes sense. They are being trained and ready for adulthood. But what it sort of assumes is that as adults, they're going to have a greater ability to impact the world. But you know, sort of thinking through that comment, I think youth are our now, um, and our future too, but are now right now. And the reason I say that is young people have a platform to influence others that others don't have. For one, um, at that age, youth are developing their, um, viewpoints on life and, and, um, they can help influence each other to develop um, good viewpoints and and things like that and um, you know they're around anywhere between a hundred to two hundred people or more um, sometimes less but in their um, class whether it's an eighth grade class freshman class or whatever and that's a lot of people to be um, with and around um, so that's one thing. The second thing is young people, youth, they're there. They're mentally, they got it. They're smart enough to think through um, so much. And and um, really what they're lacking might be experience, but they're very eager to, to get out there and, and, and work on a cause. Um, and so in that sense, they're very passionate and they're so excited about life. All things that older people sort of lose that. They get tired. And while young people have a ton of energy, uh, they may take a nap here and there or, or sleep long, but um, when awake and, and ready to go, they're they're full of life and energy. And I think that gives them a, a, a very special ability to impact the world now. Um, so... So what do we do as older people? Um, I think it's our job to help them discover their passion, um, what they're called to do, um, whether it's something with you know, a church or, 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 or some organization to help certain groups or, or, or whatever. Um, I think that uh, those things are important to help them guide in that and to help guide them, you know, to what is best for them and how to best influence that cause. Um, and so youth are not only the future, but they're the now. And we need to keep that in mind. And one more quick thing is there's a book. Um, I don't know if, you know, I've dabbled in it a little bit, but it was published by I believe two 19 year old boys it's it's called do hard things and um, the subtitle is a teenage rebellion against low expectations um, so everybody has their own impact in this world some have grand impacts some have lesser impacts but no matter what um, youth take charge and impact this world we need we need help. We're struggling, all of us. And I think if anybody can do it, um, it's the young people. They have the, the energy, the drive, enough intelligence, actually just as much as us. Maybe not as much experience, but a willingness to gain it and um, a platform to do it. So... Let's be critical of the statement, youth are our future. And let's start thinking about how youth, whether you are youth or not, how they are 
are now. So remember, don't quit thinking, start quit thinking.